Yo, price, 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 price. Let's talk about it, man. P.J. Washington. Ah, bro, listen. Before we get started, listen, let's 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 do this, man. Go ahead, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. Oh, he done turned his hat backwards. He's about to go down. <laughs> yes, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. Go give us a follow on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, LinkedIn, TikTok, all at the Black Culture Podcast. Follow me on Instagram at the Willie Asher. Follow my man Price on Price on IG, Price on Twitter, Price on TikTok. Did I get them all? Yes, sir. So listen, man. Fellas, we got to do better. Now, normally, in situations like this, I get mad at the female. But in this situation, I can't even really get mad at the female because when we break her down, she is who she is. But Mr. P.J. Washington. First off, just a little backstory. P.J. Washington is the small forward for the Charlotte Hornets. He went to the University of Kentucky. He was a lottery pick. He is teammates with the one and only rookie of the year, LaMelo Ball. We're going to get to LaMelo Ball later on, too. But right now, let's stay on Mr. P.J. Mr. P.J. Washington, he dated Brittany Renner. Um, social media, IG model, okay? Now, in his defense... Smash buddy. Smash buddy. Now, in his defense, imagine being a freshman at Kentucky and this chick rolls up on you looking really nice. Um... You know, she's a lot of makeup, a, yes. Yeah, a lot of makeup, but at, at, at that age, you're not really thinking about it. People, I don't think people thinking about that, looking past that at our age when you're 18. At you and yeah, 18, that's you true. just that's true. yeah. So we're gonna give him the benefit of the doubt on that. But let's let's just get right to it. To me, she went in with a plan. She got my man when he was in college, got him to the NBA. They dated, lived together, had a baby bottom, and in the last few weeks, she done up shipped on my boy. So He's on social media just like, yo, listen, man, that's to me. It's one thing for the, the, the female to go on social media, but it's just a bad look when the male goes on social media. I think he posted a King Von song called Mad at You, right? And if you are hip to that King Von song, he only he posted on his screenshot the first 58 seconds. Now, if you understand that what that song Mad at You, the first 58 seconds, he's going off talking about. You played me, you did this, and you did that. Pay attention to the signs. He screenshotted it, had it on this um, story mode. So that already told you right there, like, all right, he mad at her. And then she posted a picture. He was holding his son, and he just looked pissed off. So now they not together no more. And I think she even, he's paying child support, and it came out. He's on a rookie contract, and his child support is... Price, I don't know if you get the exact number for me while I'm, while I'm going through this, but I think his child support is almost the same amount as his damn rookie contract. You no, know man, I tried to look it up. I couldn't find exact numbers, but he is pissed. So, so let's get to it, man. This, this, this is, this is where where Price and myself. This is where we speak. This is where we bring our culture together this is where we grab our young boys this is where we grab our men and we come together we have us a good old a good old shindig a good old talk you know what i'm saying uh, a self to self face to face let's have a man to man talk when are we going to learn you know what's funny it always listen man first off y'all start listening to us because everything that happens in these in this world leads back to the core values that we talk about on this show we talk about the importance of a five father figure. We talk about values and we just talk about playing, being smart. We talk about a- applying yourself and being like a man. And to me, when I look at PJ Washington, I don't know his story all the way, but he comes off as a kid that didn't have a father figure growing up. Maybe he did have a father figure. Maybe he didn't listen to his fatherly advice. But to me, you look at these mistakes and to me it's like a lot of mistakes you see from a lot of young guys that get it quick a lot of young guys that get to the spotlight and they're the man now you have all these people running at you women and you're not really dissecting which one you should approach which one you should take serious which one is just there so if we're gonna be real let's gonna be real 
you're not dissecting which one you just you know what i'm just gonna smash you but i'm not gonna take you serious because i already know what you're here for because that's really what a lot of guys do like a lot of guys do see him coming like nah i already know what you're here for we're gonna go ahead over here and take care of this but just know after this ain't gonna be no but pj he fell in love so my thing is price man what's your take on it and to me what would be your i, I want to go a different route what's your take on it and to me what would be your advice to, to pj Ooh, all right so no holes bars all right so my take on it i think we talked about this earlier she lined him up for the kill and now let's let's be clear She's older than PJ, I think by seven, eight years or something like that. So let me ask you, what is a girl in her mid-20s doing with a kid that's 18? Now, if she was on other foot and you had a dude that was in his mid-20s and a young taking girl. Taking advantage 18, of her. Why he man, doing he that? He would get called everything under the sun. They would, they would sink him at the bottom of the ocean, you know, and... All right. In that situation, it's like let's just what talk people frankly. Say. He shouldn't let's, have been dating her, but you don't use that when it's the other way around. So look, let's 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 just talk frankly. She lined him up for the kill. She singled him out because before him, she had a lot of bodies with professional athletes that pretty much saw that weak game coming and they tossed her to the side. So she said, Okay, let me go get some fresh blood. Because, okay, you, you see a girl like her, and you're 18. Mm -hmm. She got more swag than all the other girls at school. Now, personally to me, she ain't really all that attractive in the first place. I didn't see the broad without makeup. She's not that attractive. I'm pretty sure there were girls at that school that look way better than her. But swag, she comes through. She's probably putting stuff in his ear, telling him exactly what he wants to hear. And... She knows exactly where he's going. Like you got women that target yep. professional athletes specifically because of two reasons. One, they know the amount of money they about to make. And two, they know they're going to be way too busy to make conscious decisions. Yep. So all they got to do is flash a little bit of ass. And they know that they got them. Now, at the same time, PJ. You a young man, and you might have been born at night. But Negro, you weren't born last night. That was a conscious decision. So I can't just hold her responsible. I have to hold him responsible because she wasn't your first body. No. Nope. And it, but this is your first kid, right? So pretty sure. And I, trust me, bro. If we're speaking candidly, I've had quite a few women tell me to don't put on a condom. I've had quite a few women tell me where to come. I don't care what you want, <laughs> right? <laughs> this is about my life. Yep. So I'm making decisions based on how it's going to affect my life and yours, because I'm pretty sure if I made the opposite decision, I wouldn't be in the good space that I'm in right now. But anyway, back to him. What advice would I give him? Number one, Homie, you ain't the first one. You ain't going to be the last. Well, not just that. This is your first kid. So please take that to heart because you got guys out here, and I'm going to go ahead and say his name, like Stephen Jackson, who's got multiple kids from multiple women. So it's pretty clear he didn't learn on the first one. But to PJ, I'm going to tell you, bro, you need to learn on the first one. Any woman you decide from now on to have off, offspring with you need to make sure that you are in a ironclad committed relationship now every relationship doesn't work out but i'm pretty sure and god always shows us these signs i'm pretty sure he saw the signs. so you can believe whatever you want to believe you can tweet whatever you want to tweet if a relationship is rock solid bro there are going to be signs that that relationship is rock solid if it's not rock solid there's going to be signs and when you're young and dumb you believe anything. Unfortunately, she probably showed him all kinds of signs. And I don't know all the facts, but nobody just wakes up one day and just walks up. It's like, oh, well, because we had a baby, 
I'm, I'm good. I don't want to be with you no more. Whatever went, went down. So let's be honest. He probably ignored signs. Yeah. He probably ignored the warning signs and believed whatever it is he wanted to believe. At 18, and she was in her mid-20s, bro. Well, that's so, when it started. PJ's 22 now. Yeah, but I'm saying, like, you got – because we go, go back to – we said she got him when she was when he was young, man. She knew what she was doing, bro, because you got to think, most professional athletes already been through that stage. So they probably was like, yeah, I know what you're here for. We're going to take care of that. But you that's as far as it's going. So she went to the college level. Let me catch these young boys fresh out of high school. That's – most of them been on my IG. They know who I am. They already been in my DMs. Let me catch. Bro, one what's of them. what's what's crazy? I, I'm gonna tell you what's crazy. I went to her page just to look at. So she apparently deleted all the photos she had with him. Yeah, yeah, right. And I'm seeing dudes that I'm connected to that follow her. <laughs> Like, are y'all like, she's not, I don't know. Maybe it's just me. Maybe I have super high standards, but she just strikes me as that regular round away girl. Like there's nothing but think about it, impressive but, 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 about her. But, but think about me. this. We talked about this too, man. A lot of times too, man. It's not just that she a regular girl. It's who she is. Let's be like, she's known like females date dudes because of their status too. But think about it. He's just in Kentucky. He ain't even on yet. She, you know who she is, bro. And think about that in the locker room. He probably was feeling like, man, bro, you ain't Brittany Renner. Oh my god. Yeah, like, but, so, but but hold on, wait. Why do we know who she is? Oh, because she's an IG model. I think she got an OnlyFans too. I think she well, do. Well, well, not just that. And because she's dating multiple athletes. That's yeah, that's why. And so and think about it, but think about this though. As a dude in Kentucky, you like, man. Uh, Devin Booker dated her. Just throwing a name out there. But sure. uh, okay, okay. I'm I'm glad I'm glad you brought up that point. Let me ask you this: Do you think she was the only that he was the only college athlete she targeted? Hell no. He was the one that she got. Yeah, that says a lot because just because you're a college athlete doesn't mean you need to fall for it. Yep, but this again to me goes back to who was his mentor, who was his father figure. Because my son is in the sports, he's at pretty good for his age. You can best believe I'm coaching him up right now at 10 absolutely. because it start you got to start young. Like oh, he's gonna know the signs, he's gonna smell you coming, he's gonna see you coming before you even before you even know you're about to approach him, he's gonna know you about to approach him before you even know it. And yeah. it goes and, back to that. And and I'm I'm glad. You brought up that. So let's just speak candidly. Being a professional athlete, you already know it comes with a certain amount of benefits. Mm -hmm. And it's something that I've talked to a mutual friend of ours about. And I won't say his name, but he played college ball at the college level. So let's so let's be honest. If you the man at college, there is no shortage of women for you there is no so so that's this dude was not a virgin right he probably had access to more vagina than a 35 to 40 year old grown man out here working a regular job right let's just be clear about that if you you don't even have to be a star athlete at college you just need to be on the team and get some pt when you go when they start scouting you and you start going on visits i'm not gonna get into details but you know what happens bro so let's not act like that this young man didn't have some knowledge of how the game goes she wasn't the first college athlete i'm sorry he wasn't the first college athlete that she targeted he was just the one that she got which says a lot about all the other dudes. They were mentally strong enough. Because let's be honest. When you think about becoming a professional athlete, there's really three things you think about. Number one, if you love your sport, like absolutely love it, you think about the glory that comes with it because you love your sport. You think about winning. That's number one. You think about legacy. Number two, you think about the money, right? 
nine times out of ten, you're gonna buy your mom a house. If you got siblings, you want to take take care of them. You know, if you were fortunate enough to have both parents, you want to make sure that, that they're good. But then you also gonna buy the flash clothes. You're gonna buy the flash car. You're gonna live in a nice pad yourself, et cetera, et cetera. And then there's the women, right? You're literally thinking about this because you could have been the most ugliest dude growing up. But when you get drafted and you get that contract, you're the best looking person on earth <laughs> at that moment, bro. Like you saw 30 for 30 broke. Dude said, y'all ain't never told me I look this good before. <laughs> All of a sudden, I'm real, I'm real cute. Come on, man. You know damn well she wasn't looking at you. She was looking at your bank account, bro. It reminded me of the uh, Channing Crowder story when he talked about how he met the chick at the bank, the bank teller. She never looked up at him. He like, but when he went to go cash that NFL check, sir, she looked up at him that day. <laughs> yeah. And that that's how they be. So my advice to him is, look, bro, first of all, you got a happy and healthy baby. That is a blessing from God right you don't know who that baby could become don't discount that but second take this as a lesson learned go the opposite route don't go for the girl one bro i would never go for a girl that all the dudes and then smash anyway and i think at yeah, this I point they no porn star or no yeah i mean like I, I hope that he wouldn't at this point i hope i hope he's he's learned his lesson but look take take this into account you got plenty of girls out there like her you already got caught up so my advice to you, unfortunately, you're kind of infamous now, <laughs> but at the same time, there's also a woman out there who's going to see the good in you and the type of person, and they know that there's other women out there like that. So your next selection should be a woman who's interested in helping you grow, helping you develop, and helping you build whatever it is that you're trying to build in life. Stop looking at just because she got on a bunch of makeup because that chick is not cute without makeup stop looking at a chick because she's a ig model and she's got a couple million followers or however many followers that 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 she has look at a woman for who they are and i think now he should hopefully be wise enough to recognize the energy like you talk about that a woman is exuding towards him and pretty much um discern what it is she's really after absolutely man and i'll end it i'll end it with this man um just a word to our fellas um we just got to do better man we got to be able to to see these signs we got to be able to that's why i go we it goes back to if you haven't man watched our video about dating and we talk about the benefits of dating you know, you got to you got to have conversations, have a conversation with a woman. Listen, man, a person to tell you a lot about themselves by just having a conversation. They're either going to put their foot in their mouth and show you their true colors or they're going to show you their true colors and they're going to their true colors going to be good. But like conversation, like get back to dating, man. Let's stop trying to Netflix and chill. Netflix and chill leads up to stuff like that, too. Let's stop going, just looking at the bodies and. Yeah. Trying and to count. and yeah. look, bro, if, if you don't mind, let me add this. Go ahead. If she's not willing to have a conversation, that should tell you a lot. Yeah. If you ask her specific questions and she evades those questions, you need to pay attention to that. And understand this. A woman that's truly into you, you ain't got to spend a bunch of money, no matter how much you got. A woman that's really into you will be just as happy with a walk in the park as you taking her out to a fancy dinner because she's with you and and i've seen it bro i've i've seen women i ain't gonna say no names who've dated ball players let those ball players spend their little money that, that they got and hang out with a dude who ain't even working at a local bar and she's paying the bill and go back to his place and smash i've seen that so don't be deceived by thinking that your contract money is going to make her feel a certain way about you. If she's into you, she's into you. Look, fellas, I'm going to tell you this. Coffee dates, walks in the park, conversations. 
that's what's going to make a relationship last because that's going to help you get to know her. You taking her on these trips, buying her things, that's nothing but material possessions and those things fade away. You got to, your focus should be on building a bond with her. And if she's not willing to do that, pay attention to the signs. And I'm going to leave y'all with this. Price, don't respond to this because we're going to save this. For This going to be our next video. So be on the lookout for this topic. It's going to be bro. our next one. So don't, because I know when I say it, you want something to say, but I'm trying to tease into the next one. Listen, fellas, I don't care what anyone says. If you're dating a woman, you both have a right to know how many people that you have laid down with. That's my belief. Because a lot of people feel like, why does it matter how many she laid down with before you? No, bro, you need to know. That matters. Ask. Mm. Hold it. We gonna mm -hmm. That's going to be our next topic. But hey, it matters. And that's it, man. So again, hit the, hit the like button. Hit the share button, man. Follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter at the Black Culture Podcast. We're on TikTok. We're on LinkedIn. Anything else? Yeah, make sure you guys subscribe and to listen to all of our episodes. If you can't watch on YouTube, we're on Apple, Google, and Spotify. So you don't have to just watch us on YouTube, but you can listen in because we're putting all this, all this content on. And we also have a Patreon channel at the Black Culture Podcast. And with that, man, I think it was a wonderful, necessary discussion. Until next time, I'm Price. It's the Willie Ashford. It's the Black Culture Podcast. Peace. Peace.